coming back at you with the wet hair because I just showered. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be my week 55 update of my fitness journey slash Chloe Ting challenge. I don't have much this week. It was pretty consistent and I know my hair is wet. I just got out of the shower because I have been procrastinating like all day. So that's always a fun. Like normal, I'm just gonna go through what I did this past week and show you guys some update photos. I feel like all my photos look the same, but it's fine. I like doing this for my documentation. So starting off on Sunday, I did the 10 minute hit workout. Um, and this one is pretty good. It always makes me sweat. I feel like all of Chloe Ting's hit workouts are super challenging. Then I did the get flat abs workout and it's the one where she's in like a side plank in like a purple pinkish workout set and i really like this one too it's a very medium to advanced workout and everything so i really like that one it's not too bad and then i did the booty burn 15 minutes get peachy and honestly this is my favorite butt workout because she includes dumbbells or like little weights and i really feel like that really strengthens my core arms and butt all at the same time when I use weights. Um, I always like to throw in another ab workout. I think on Sunday I just wanted to do something else as well and I chose to do the Alexis Ren ab challenge. Well it's not like a challenge but it's a video by Alexis Ren because I feel like that is my most favorite ab workout and I really enjoy that one. I feel it and I feel like it gets me results especially after I do it. Like I feel like I can see my abs when I actually do that one. Like right after it, I feel like I can see the definition which is really cool. Also I don't think I filmed this but I did the five minute daily stretch just as a cool down. So moving on to Monday I did the 15 minute full body hit workout. I think this is the hardest hit workout she has on her channel and I really like that one because it makes you sweat so much and as you guys know I love sweating so I feel like I'm actually doing something. Next we had the two weeks abs. I hadn't done this one and this one was really similar to all of her other ab workouts. I really liked it, but I also felt like I needed to do another ab workout, so I did add on an ab workout after that one. The next one I did was the 15 minutes booty and leg two week shred challenge, and this one was also really good. I feel like she doesn't have a lot of full like leg workouts, like inner and outer thigh workouts in this program, so I'm happy that she included like a leg workout along with the booty. And then I added on the 10 minute Alexis or an ab workout because I just feel the most productive when I do that one and I'm trying to work on my abs right now um and then Tuesday I don't have any footage because I work and that's just like my day off then on Wednesday I did the 15 minute full body hit no noise no jumping apartment friendly and this one was challenging but I don't really recommend it I, I just didn't really find it as challenging and it was kind of like if you don't feel like working out but you still want to like move your body I would suggest doing that one. Um, then I did the tight core workout and this one was actually really good. There's a lot of planks. It was super challenging and I actually found it to be quite hard. Along with Wednesday's workout, she included the core and arms workout, but I chose not to do that one because I just don't really like that workout. So I did a Pamela Reef one instead and the 15 minute sexy back workout really had me intrigued when I saw that she uploaded that. So I just did the back workout by Pamela instead of the arms and core because I just don't really like that one from Chloe. And then on top of that, I added on the Alexis Ren ab workout. I swear, like I'm seeing abs on myself, which it's crazy. Of course, I still have like a layer of like, you know, skin and fat and stuff, but I don't know. I'm just, I'm seeing results with what I'm doing, which is pretty cool. Thursday, I don't have any footage because I did not work out on Thursday. And then today, Friday, I did a lot of workouts. I got a pretty late start because I slept in this morning. So I did the 10 minute burn lots of calories. It's the burn calories hit workout, which was super Super challenging and today was the first time that I actually did that workout and then I did the 10 minute burn calories weight loss workout which is also super challenging all of the exercises that she has you like 
jump up and like touch your knees or like butt kicks. Those are just so hard. Like I have to do the low impact version because I'm like, I do not think I can get my butt up off the ground that far. And then I did the get flat abs stomach workout and that one was pretty good. And then the eight minute lower abs workout. I honestly really don't like the lower abs workout. So I think I'm going to start like doing another workout instead of that one. And then I didn't film this, but I did the five minute daily stretch by Pamela because I just like having a cool down after my workouts. So I guess updates I can give you. Everything's pretty much stayed consistent. I'm really watching my portions and when I'm eating, just making sure I don't overeat because it's so easy to do that. So I look on the box of like a snack I'm gonna have or something and I just look at the serving size and then like I literally count that many like chips or like crackers. So for example, I like Triscuits and one serving guys is six Triscuits. Guys, I don't know how I can eat so much, but I can. So I just make sure to like count six crackers or chips or whatever, and then put the bag or box back. Um, that's a really good tip I have. And also just watching when I'm full and everything, making sure I'm drinking a lot of water because I know that that's really important. Water is basically the only thing I drink except for like wine and alcoholic beverages. So I don't really have a problem with like soft drinks or I don't know, like sugary drinks. That's definitely something that I have been really focusing on. Also, I've seen really good progress with my butt. I don't know. I just feel like it's coming along really well and I'm happy about it. So that's why um, I'm focusing on my abs. And like I said earlier, I'm actually seeing like ab definition, even though in the photos you'll see, you can't really tell, um, but I am losing like some of my back fat. Um, I don't know why my body just likes to to collect fat there. Um, I guess it's like my body's choice. Everyone's body like chooses where it wants to gain. And I guess my back is just what it wants to cling to. But I think I definitely feel it getting smaller, which is really good because it's really annoying and I hate the feeling of it. So I'm happy about that. Um, I guess I'll just move on to the photos. So Alex on the left, is last week and Alex on the right is this week. Pretty much the same because everything's pretty much stayed consistent. Here is the side view of that. I swear it's all about the angles because literally this doesn't look any different, but I swear like I feel different, but I just chose this pose, I guess, to take photos in. So I just want to like keep it consistent. And then here is the start of year two. So on the left is the beginning of year two compared to now, which is on the right. And then here is the side view of that. I don't know guys, let me know what you think. Uh, leave in the comments down below if you're following any workout plans or dietary plans because I'm curious. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!